Hello Cancers and welcome back to my channel Lumen Moon Tarot. So Cancer, I am here to do your daily love update my darlings. Um, this reading is for the collective. It is not going to resonate with all of you. So if it doesn't resonate with you, you know, don't panic. Just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, and if you like this video, please go ahead, click that like button, subscribe to my channel, help me grow. Thank you to everybody for all of your support, um, the whole nights. You guys have been absolutely fabulous. And uh, this channel is for adults only. All right, Cancers, let's get started. Um, let's see what the Divine wants you to know, right? Um, I feel like justice is coming in for you one way or another here, Cancer. The scales are about to be balanced. You're about to get clarity. Um, I feel like you're using your intuition a lot though here with the blindfold on. Um, you can sense this coming in. You can sense your person um, starting to like wanting to move towards you. Let's just say that. Um, they're thinking about this soulmate connection here. It's the kind of connection that's just kind of got their head spinning here, Cancer. Um, you could be dealing with a Virgo. This person has gone within to try to figure out what steps to take next to get back to you. Um, feeling very nostalgic, okay? So this to me is them remembering a time when they had you really close to them, okay? Um, this person could be a bit younger than you or you could have children together even, but um, uh, you could have known this person for years and years, you know. I feel like this is an emotional time for your person because they know that all of, when they had you by them before, all of these cups were, were filled with beautiful, it's just beautiful energy, you know, what you guys had. But that's just it, what you had. Had is the operative word in that sentence. That's what this person is thinking about. What they have left now are memories. You know? And I think it's it's very hard for this person to think their way out of a situation is what I'm feeling here. I mean, look at how they're squinting, right? They're like, they kind of have their, eye, their head all scrunched up here. It's really hard for them to figure out how to get how to get close to you again like like you guys were before is what I'm thinking. You know and it, that's what I'm feeling like here. It's just hard for me to describe it, I guess. They want this the way it was before. They miss it the way it was before. They they remember this love that you gave. And they can't shake this connection, Cancer. They want to take a leap of faith. This is wanting a new journey with you. Being emotional, what did I say? They're very, very emotional about this. Yeah, because now you're in this energy. Before, you were very loving, very kind, very nurturing to this person. You had all of this love to give your person, and now, you're protecting yourself, you're protecting your energy and all that you've created. You're protecting your children maybe, you're protecting whatever your baby is. So like you could be protecting your business, your um, abundance, you're protecting everything. You're just in protective mode. And it's, it's, a, it's a far cry from how loving you were to this person in the past. They really miss that attention and that love you used to give them, especially if you're dealing with a Virgo. Yeah. Yeah, they're not having any fun. This is not something that they're enjoying at all. Um, they want to take a leap of faith with you. And they're very, this is tears, lots of tears, lots of crying. Um... I feel like this this situation is about to transform though here, Cancer. I really do, my darlings. And justice is about to be served here. 
your person can't sleep at night anymore. <laughs> All they do is think about you. That What did I say about the overthinking? You know, this is your Virgo, right? Going through each scenario in their mind like 50 times over, right? And then they have to pick out like four or five scenarios that would be the best and then go over those all over again you know until the sun comes up every night um, that's kind of what this person does the, the hermit they go within they try to they try to think about how to accomplish this what what steps do, do they need to take you know this person could be looking at how they treated you in the past each one of these swords, you know, a sword in your back. Um, I mean, they're thinking about a lot here. This new journey, transforming your energy here back into this. <laughs> you know, they want that love that you offered them before. They want it like this. But you are, are protecting yourself like this. Yeah, they want that transformation. This person's hanging on to your energy for dear life. And I, I, equally, I feel like they can't find you anywhere. You're kind of hiding, maybe. Not really hiding, but just, I don't know. For some reason, it's hard for this person to see you. Maybe they don't see you out much or something. They're very trapped in their mind about this. They know they're running out of time to get this to calmer waters, man. They are running out of time. This is a constant thing that they're thinking about here. I feel like this person is committed to, to someone in this Queen of Swords energy. You could, this Virgo, possible Virgo, possible Earth sign here. I feel like this person is committed. This is a committed person here for me usually. Um, to someone in Queen of Swords energy who is wanting some truth here. They're out of time. The new cycle's beginning. They're out of time to get you to uh, calmer waters. Yeah, so now, you know, here they are. They want to come and apologize, but um, they want to reunite. But the problem is, is there's too many feminine energies in this picture, Cancer. This person hasn't done anything with a, a commitment that they're already in. And this Queen of Swords, she's this Queen of Swords here. She's not going to put up with any more crap from this person. She could be fairly um, sharp with her tongue, you know cold I'm feeling coldness off of this person here constantly on this person's case I feel but then again this Queen of Swords can sense that your person is thinking about you whoever this is they could be dealing if it's this could be a Virgo dealing with a um, an air sign Libra Aquarius Gemini yeah, that's a commitment here. And and it's almost like everyone in this situation knows that your person can't let go of your energy. They brought it into this commitment with them. You know, I feel like this person wants to apologize. They want to do whatever they can to change this around with you, Cancer. They don't want to be out in the cold anymore. This could this is a person who abandoned you. Possibly stuck some swords in your back and and left you out in the cold. You know? Treated you like an option. Yeah. Treated you like an option. Perhaps this person was all about their money. See? They were all about their money. Well, you know, maybe they got their money, treated you like an option. There's that pentacle. There it is. Yeah. I feel like you're about to have a new beginning here. The, the new cycle is starting. 
Cancer. So, you know, I feel like you're on your way out, out, of, the, out of this situation. And um, you, you probably are the one who is transformed here. And your person is running out of time to join you in this boat, is what I'm feeling. They're running out of time to join you in this boat. Um, communication is coming in, though, really, really fast, but you may not like the truth. I always feel like this Knight of Swords is bringing in a storm behind him, and I'm really feeling that in this card. They're going to try to come to you really fast to communicate, but you're, I feel like you're quickly going to find out that this person is wrapped up with someone else in this Queen of Swords energy. And this person could be very, very cold and harsh. Okay? Could even be very, like, have mood swings. Yeah, but this is what, I feel like this is what your person chose. Yeah, okay, so what else can you show me here? What it, What is this all about, this Knight of Swords? Why is the Knight of Swords here, Divine, for Cancer? Yeah, what's going on here, Cancer? Yeah, okay, so this Emperor, they go from this uh, King of Pentacles to this Emperor. All right, offering, making you a small offer here. This is beginning stage communication. I feel like this person wants to take control, but that's just it. They don't, they don't even have control of their own situation, okay? They want to take control and offer you something. This is beginning stage, okay? Now, this is a businessman, um, big person in charge, very, very good with their finances kind of all about money and I see a very small offer here coming from an emperor. I don't see this as being good enough. I don't see this as being cool. I feel like this person holds back their energy and they have to because they're coming to you but they're already committed to someone else. A possible air sign even. And you could be dealing with the possible Virgo, Aquarius, Libra, Earth sign, Pisces, uh, Virgo, Gemini. Yeah, mostly though I'm feeling Virgo and an air sign here. So yeah, I feel like this person is just wanting to take control so that you don't leave the scene without them. They don't want you going anywhere. But yet at the same time, they're coming in to communicate with you, but they're already with someone else. They're with someone else, Cancer. They want to apologize. Yeah, but they're still with someone else. They're going to tell you they want to reunite, build something solid. Yeah, but they're already doing that with someone else. Um, yeah. Treated you like an option, but that makes you an option still. Does it not? And this emperor, I don't think in their narcissistic mind, fully understands that. But they're coming in to give you a very small offer when clearly this person is probably extremely financially um, stable. They're, I feel like this is kind of breadcrumbing you. Because they just don't have time, maybe. But, yeah, you're walking away. You're like, you're walking away. And I feel like your person... Um, they're going to miss this opportunity, yeah, with their cancer. Yep, that's what I'm feeling like here, my darlings. And I feel like you're keeping, you're kind of just going off quietly, okay? Very, very quietly. I don't see any, like, fighting or anything like that. I just see you turning your back on this. Sorry, you missed your opportunity. Actually, no apologies. Um... 
and just going off quietly, kind of hiding things. Not just everything is hidden. You're keeping things hidden around you. You know, not being really vocal about the moves you're making, nothing like that. Yeah, your person's, I feel like, when they come to you like this, yeah, you're going to walk away. That's what I'm feeling like here. <sighs> All right, what do I want? What do I want, Cancer? Huh, where is that deck? Cancer, I'll be right back. I'm going to go get the things that they may want to say to you. I'll be right back. Okay, Cancer, let's try to find out if your person wants to say anything here. What would they like to say to Cancer Divine? What would this person like to say to Cancer? You know, um, I'm not quite sure what to say. I think, you know, I think you already recognize this if it is your story. And you're kind of like feeling like me, like, well, you know, if they don't come to you correctly, uh, for real, if they don't, if this person don't, doesn't come to you correctly, I really feel like you're going to turn your back on this whole, this whole thing. Like they seriously are out of time. Like it's, you know, it took them too long to figure out just how important you are and what you mean to this person. And they can't just come in and try to control you and stop you from moving forward if they don't have anything to offer you really, you know? All right. What can you show me? That's too many divine. What does this person want to say to Cancer? What does this person want to say to Cancer? It's always too many. I'm keeping an eye on you. Yep, they're keeping their eye on you. They're watching you, definitely. We know that. You still give me butterflies and goosebumps. This person really, um, they still, you still do it for them, man. You still turn this person on. Um, they, I want to trust you, but I don't know if I can. You need to be honest. I feel like this person wants you to speak. They want you to talk, okay? Um, and I don't see that happening. I don't. I see you walking away from this. Yeah. Um, but th they know that they want to come forward and talk to you. But they don't know how you're going to greet them, okay? They, they definitely don't want to be denied not in emperor energy no and king of pentacles no they definitely don't want to be denied i think this person um they fear being turned down by you so they don't know if they can trust this or not but honestly cancer i don't think you feel like that's your problem anymore I don't think you really worry about what, how this person, like how nervous they are to come forward towards you or, you know, if they, if they, I, I just see you kind of moving forward here is what I'm feeling. And if they're having issues, um, with speaking up and, and doing the right thing by you, then I think you're just like, whatever, it's their problem. That's kind of how I'm feeling, you know? Because you did give them the best love you could here. Look, they can't forget about it. So you don't, I, I feel like you don't have any problem moving forward because this person really is giving you nothing. Like literally nothing. Except a rough time and a broken heart. Okay. All right, anything else that this person wants to say to Cancer? I am so in love with you. Yeah, well, we know that they're um, in some kind of commitment here. Too many people involved. This person really, this whole time, I feel like, 
um, they've been doing nothing but thinking about you and it's getting harder and harder on your person like I said they're trapped in their mind during the day and they're trapped in their mind at night and um, you know it's it's driving them nutty but here's the thing cancer is that your problem you know what I mean I don't think that this is your problem I don't think you think this is your problem this is clearly your person's problem and they're not doing much about their problem you know so anyway cancers I don't think there's much more that um, that I want to add to this um, so yeah I, if you know I hope this helps and I hope it resonates um, if you like this video please go ahead and click that like button subscribe to my channel help me grow and until next time my darlings um, I love you so much take care of you and peace out <laughs>